everyone. For today's science activity, we are going to be learning about fingerprints. So to do this, you are going to need to collect a few things. You are going to need this worksheet, which you can find and print from the Surrey Library Lab blog. You're also going to need some ink, some tissue, a large paintbrush, a pen or a pencil, some tape and some powder like some baby powder. Now everyone has a set of unique fingerprints. Even twins who have the same DNA will have different fingerprints. Fingerprints develop before babies are born and form one of three types of patterns. So you can see the three types of patterns on this worksheet, which are either loops, whirls or arches. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our own fingerprint. And to do that, we're going to put our fingers in the ink. And get some ink on your finger. And then we're going to put it on the worksheet. and then that will leave your fingerprint behind. And then you can repeat that for all of your fingers. Now this is going to be a bit messy, which is why you've got the tissue so that you can, when you've done your fingers, Put them in the ink, you can wipe off the excess ink. Now if you don't want to use ink or if you don't have any at home, you could use something like cocoa powder or even pencil dust to make your fingerprints on your worksheet. Now when you've done all of them, you can have a look and see what patterns you have on each of your fingerprints and you can have a look and compare them to the ones at the top here and you can write and say whether you think you've got whirls, loops and arches and you can fill in your worksheet. Now when you touch something, the natural oils in your skin help to transfer fingerprints onto an object or a surface and you can try and lift fingerprints using a paintbrush and some clear tape. So, to do this, if we put some powder So if you think that you would like to see if you can find some fingerprints, what you can do is you can dust for fingerprints where you think there might be some using a paintbrush and some powder. And then use some tape to try and lift some fingerprints. So you might like to have a try and see if you can find some fingerprints on some surfaces at home. I hope you have fun with this activity. We would love to see your results, so please share them with us at Surrey Libraries on Facebook and Twitter and have a look at our YouTube channel and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye!